What's up, Virgo? What's up, sexy Virgo? How you doing today? This is a message from your ancestors. I got a new deck here, the beloved dead. I'm going to read some cards from here today and see what the messages are trying to unfold for you. I feel a lot of good energy. I heard something about maybe a second chance, um, elevating yourself to the highest level, especially when it comes to work. Okay, uh, We're going to get started. So let's see. If you all want to get into a reading, if you all want a personal reading, I'm open for Saturday day readings today up until 5 o'clock Central Standard Time. All right. What's up? Messages from your beloved dead people. <laughs> your beloved ones on the other side. Bohemian. You know, um, this card represents how you feel about yourself and what it is you're doing. We got hardship and we got wise guy. All right. So the Bohemian here represents you getting out, stepping outside of your comfort zone. Okay. Not being comfortable in the skin that you're in, but wanting to get out, wanting to go out and, and celebrate life, have a good life, doing some good things in your life. We got hardship here. Maybe there's some hardship in your life. Maybe you just want to get out and shake a tail feather, get out and have some fun. You know, elevate yourself to the next level. Okay, I'm hearing elevate your mind, free your soul or something. Elevate your mind, free your soul. Okay, smoke you some cushion if that's what you want to do. But that's you. That's you. There, uh, there's a lot going on in your life right now, and you need some time too. You need a break. Give me a break. I show deserve it. Trying to make it to the top. Something like that. Give me a break. break. Remember that show. I'm going to put that song in the comments for you. That's my little, I literally just heard. What's her name? Nail singing in my ear. Give me a break. You got a wise guy. You know, I feel like this person, somebody who was played, who's maybe trying to play games with you. You know, if you don't need this stuff. But I do feel like there's somebody who's trying to shake you out of that comfort zone that you have put yourself in because what? You are the consummate Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> so I see. The energy between you and this person, this person is, is, like I said, a wise guy. They play a lot of games. You got to be careful with them. But you, you have you have fun with this person. This, fun, this person is fun, okay? They love to have a good time. And kind of like be careful of this person. They'll be careful of their energy because they may take you into some dark energy, bad things, bad habits, introduce you to some bad habits that you don't need, like smoking or drinking or, you know, sexing back and forth, whatever. Uh, some unhealthy energy with the between the two of you here and i feel like this is a hardship for you you can put yourself out there you can change your lifestyle you can change the way you do things only to find somebody who is not good for you who is unhealthy who is very karmic to you okay karmic for you and you don't know how to separate the two it's like oh my gosh how did i ever get myself into this situation this stanky situation okay what other messages your beloved ones want to say want to say want to have for you You're more than that. We got the sovereign. We got witch. Messenger. You're a messenger here. Um, your gift. You have a spiritual gift here. Let me pull this. It's calling my name. What's this? Tribe. So you have a tribe of people around you who like to do the same thing. Tarot cards. They're wisdom. They're very wise. I did see wise one when I was shuffling earlier. And I have her shine. You shine. You're so pretty. You're so beautiful, Virgo. Just amazing, you know. And people probably have told you recently, you look like you have a glow. What's going on with you, Virgo? Are you in love? What's going on? You just got a lot of new things coming your way. And this could also mean that there's somebody who loves you on the other side. They're watching, watching over you, making sure that you are well protected. And I'm also hearing Esther. That could have been their name, Esther. Um, there's a song that Kenny G has. It's called Esther. I'm gonna put that in the comments for you to listen to. Okay. Maybe you're named after your love. Maybe you're named after your loved one. Like I'm, my name, my first name is Evelina. So my mother named me after her mother, which is Evelina. So you're named after someone. But I feel like she's warning you, or he's warning you about this wise guy. Okay, <clears throat> this person from above, this person from heaven is 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 warning is me talk is um maybe they had issues talking due, due, due to a stroke. Okay, but I feel like they're they're warning you about this guy. Don't give that guy. Don't don't give in to this person. But it's more so they're sending you the energy. They of course they can't tell you physically. You may hear a song or uh you may get this inkling that, oh, you know, what are they trying to tell me? You know, I feel like this person is not right for me. I finally got myself together and I finally put myself out there and only to find some jack leg ass dude or some skanky bitch, you know, uh, and I'm being caught up in situations I don't know 
I didn't know what would, would become so unhealthy. And I'm also hearing this person is very, very, un, is very un, unethical. I just don't feel like maybe somebody here passed away of stroke or if they had issues talking, they could have passed away with a trach or something, a tracheotomy or something like that. But I feel like she is here, you know, as a part of your spiritual team, your spiritual guide to help you understand more about what's going on in your energy field. Okay. To make sure you know, oh shit, camera. Uh, to make sure you know that uh, everything is going to be okay if you just release what went all the what uh, what no, longer, what no longer serves you. I'm having trouble talking. So I don't know if, if it's just the energy around whoever has passed away. And like I said, maybe they just couldn't talk, but they are around you. Okay. They are around you. Both sides of the family are around you. All right. You have some old pictures. You could be working on your family tree as well. And you're finding old pictures online of what your family looked like. Like, wow. And it shocks you that you have this kind of person in your family or in your lineage or something like that as well. They're definitely high. And I feel like we're like high above in, in the Everglades, but high in the ethers. But I feel like this person passed their gift on to you. So they're very um, sought. They were very sought after. Okay. For what they were for their abilities and what they were able to do so i feel like this this energy that they passed on to you you have it now it's your turn to pass these energies on it's your turn to pass the messages on here okay but they're watching over you you've had this energy since you were a child you were able you were able to deliver messages for people no matter how uncomfortable it may have been for them you did it I, you know because children do that they say stuff you like what the hell did you know who was that you know or i know about uncle uh, Esther, Esther, Uncle Esther is what I just heard. I know about Uncle Uncle Arthur or Arturo or something like that. So uh, they may have never seen this person or heard this person, but they're able to pass messages on, and you can tell how somebody looked. And you possibly even have a spirit child, a boy, a boy or a little girl who is your spirit guide. Okay, but they definitely want you to stay away from unhealthy relationships. You have one person, like I said, in your energy field who who loves you and whose energy is around you, Virgo. Constantly. I'm hearing consistently. Connie. Just heard Connie. They possibly own, own their own beauty shop. They did their own thing. Uh, maybe that's something that you want to do. Your own beauty shop or salon, nail salon or whatever. And they're saying, you can do everything you want to do. Anything I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just heard Tracy. Before male, Tracy. A tractor. Maybe they drove a tractor. Tractor pool, whatever. Tractor. Are those big cars? I don't know what, what you see. The, the big trucks have those monster wheels or something. Collected cars, collected trucks. Grave. Okay. So they're, they're around you. They're observing your relationship. They're observing your love life. Okay. And they're saying be a little bit more sedative. A little bit more seductive no be a little bit more seductive is what i'm saying but i'm also hearing be a little bit more selective in your choice of of, of love okay and your choice of man or woman because she, she's saying that um it's time for you to explore uh, it's time for you to to you know get out there you know and start dating you know maybe you just don't know that you're ready or maybe you're just afraid or whatever but they're saying get out there to explore there's so much out there for you not only in relationships but in life it's time to open up to whatever it is that you're wanting to do whatever's coming your way because they're exploring they're seeing you okay and they want you to be more objective like i said more selective in your love life and the people you hang around period all right i feel like you know being objective in there saying you know what i just want Virgo to be happy okay I just want Virgo to to be to just live a good uh, to live a good life to be happy, okay, to stand up strong and and just you know you don't have to be cold as ice <laughs> when somebody approaches you say hey if, if if nothing clicks then let it go okay but they're with you all right and I feel like you know they're with you when you're in your car maybe this is something that you need to do is visit their grave of somebody you love somebody who passed away it's time to visit their grave maybe you haven't done that they possibly love to. Uh, ride a bike. Maybe they passed away from a heart attack while riding a bike. Hmm. I just heard Fred. Okay. You haven't visited their grave. Maybe you feel, or maybe you have visited their grave and they say, you don't need to visit my grave so much just to talk to me. I'm always around you. Okay.
I have expectation. And they're saying, you know what? I'm on the other side. I'm your ancestor. You don't know me, but I sure in the hell do know you. And you have a kindred soul out there. So don't waste your time on nonsense. Don't waste your time on somebody who you don't feel in your heart. When you meet him or her, when you meet the right person, you will, you will know automatically. I'm your angel of love. I'm around you. I'm surrounding you. I'm, I'm protecting you from things that you don't know. I'm pre I have protected you from things you have never experienced just to keep you safe. All right. Well, I'm letting you know there's somebody beautiful coming into your life, a kindred soul, a kindred spirit. Okay. So you have ancestors all around you, um, ushering you into the land of love, you know, and also protecting you from nonsense, from relationships that no longer serve your highest good. Okay. You got to let it go. Maybe somebody, you know, got to the cemetery and changed your mind about visiting the grave because it made you uncomfortable. You never went in. You got afraid. I have body. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Go on, keep these. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. But yeah, I was wondering if I should keep these out because I'm sending a message here about you, your body. Um, it's starting from your head to your feet. Okay, working on your crown chakra, working on your chakra system. Period. Okay. And I, I mentioned a reading yesterday that I did, um, having rock hard abs. Maybe wanting to do something with your abs. Mm -hmm. um, I had I heard absolutely, but I also have ab I also heard Abelina. <laughs> uh, not Evelyn like me, but Abilina or Abilene, Maybelline, or Maybelline, but Abilene, Abilina or something like that. Maybe you know who that is. Maybe there's somebody in your family um, working, taking better care of yourself. Or maybe you're doing something with herbs and spices and not using salt or anything like that. Okay. Garlic, uh, different leaves, bay leaves, and something else to season rosemary other than salt. Okay? What is the message that you're trying to relay? This here and now, act of love, followed by self care. See, it's something about the, your self care. Um, taking better care of yourself is going to make you so much better. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you look better. And I feel like that's when you're going to realize, like, wow, okay, I feel so much better. I'm going to put myself out there. Look at me, and I'll fly. Okay, it's changing your body, okay, from head to toe. Um, even if you have to go through, um, like maybe talking to a psychologist or something, or or dietitian to help you your, your eating habits together, Virgo. Okay, and it's going to make you feel so much better on the outside and look better on it. Feel better on the outside. About feel better on the inside. Look better on the outside about who you are. Okay, and you have your spiritual guide here that's leading you. You possibly already had downloads about changing your diet, drinking more water, uh, eating eating less meats. Okay, doing something that's good for your you, taking better care of you. That self love. All right, I knew it was something here. So. And this is, is as, as this the this is the I don't know why it's hard for me to talk. I don't know who 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 here has somebody in their life who is hard for them to communicate with. But this person here is with you. Your your angel, your spirit guide is with you, and they're they're this is the expectation of them for you. What they want to see you do, what's best for you. We're going to be here and make sure we're guiding you in the right direction. We got the compass, and we got here and now. Okay, finding that lover, finding that person for you, Virgo. Okay. Body and soul. Here and now, Luther Vandross and Body and Soul, uh, Anita Baker. Body and soul. Okay, so I'll put those songs in the comments. But yeah, act of love, self-care here and now. So they're they're lighting, they're guiding you to meet this person here, your true soulmate, your kindred spirit. You know, it's, it's like get your life together. I know that you're going through some stuff. I know that you're not happy with the way you look or or something in your life is 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 keeping you away from true love because because right now they're not looking at you you're not looking at them it's not time to meet this person but it's will it will at some point you got some work to do and they have some work to do and i feel like when you realize who you truly are virgo that's when you're going to meet this person when you're truly ready but you know in your heart that you got to work on you and they're working on them and you have yet to meet this person but they're in they're closer than you think you're being led and guide, guided to one another Okay, and eventually, Virgo, when you get when you get to working on that body, when you get to working on whatever shifting inside your head, psychology, whatever you need to, to concentrate on, when you fix all of that, then 
that, that, that love, that gate of love is going to open wide open for you. And you're going to see him and you're going to see her. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. Kindred spirits for show. Okay. Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Working on that body. Okay. Making that body tight. Mm -hmm. Making that body sing. Okay. Let's get a final message overall for you. Your past on mess messengers, your past on love. I got change. Okay. Oh yeah, you're in now act of love. Change, change your your life is about to change due to love coming in. But right now you're disconnected from anything. This is what you are. This is what you are now. You're disconnected from a lot of things. You don't talk. You don't hang out. You're in hermit mode right now, trying to find yourself, trying to figure some things out. Okay, disconnected for sure. But I feel like that's going to change because. This person is going to briskly walk into your life. If you're already working on yourself, you know what you need to do. Boom. That's when love is coming your way because you're changing your thoughts. You're changing how you're living your life, how you feel about yourself. But I feel like it, it's all about you, all about your um, self-esteem or low, how low it is or how much you know that you need to change, how you're not willing to put yourself out there. Okay. I have explore. It's time to change. Yeah, you're done. I have here. I have explore. I think that you have really separated yourself from family and friends, especially. All right. So they maybe call you a geek when you were younger, a nerd, but things are changing for you. Explore. Get yourself out there. Let people see you. All right. But you say, no, I'm done. Father's on the other side, uh, granddad, uncle, whoever. Uh, on the other side with a younger person, a younger guy who passed away, just letting you know that they are around you. You possibly had a brother who passed away when you were younger. Okay, I'm hearing also a child in utero. They're all on the other side and they're saying we're absent physically, but um, we're here spiritually for you. And we're all we're all together. Okay, we're all together. And they're saying that there are great things coming your way, but you have to be the change. You have to be the person that's going to move. Don't be afraid to move. Okay. Don't be afraid to move. So it's like something's holding you back. It could be just you and your fear. Okay, one more card and then I'm done for now. Oh, I'll just spill some coffee. Okay. One more. Yeah, we got the changes coming. Okay. Change is coming. But sometimes, Virgo, you make it very hard to communicate with you. Very, very hard to communicate with you. Very hard to see somebody else's opinion or, or do what others say because um, you you want perfection. But that's just your personality. That's just who you are. You want perfection and you want a perfect mate. You're never going to find a perfect mate. okay? And so the person that's coming into your life is never going to find the perfect mate. You're just going to find your kindred spirit, your kindred soul. Nothing is perfect. Um, maybe you're a little bit more quiet and a little bit more... Um, introverted and they are, are an extrovert. They're loud. They like to have fun. They like to play jokes and tricks on you. So get ready for that. That may piss you off a little bit, you, but you'll get used to it. That's your kindred soul, your kindred spirit. They're going to love you. They're going to love you, love you, love you. Okay? I hope that this message resonates with you, Virgo, and I will talk to you later. Don't forget, same day we use today.